So this is my opinion on Aries. I'm just getting out of work, so I probably look extremely tired. Anyway, I'm a Leo. I actually have an Aries rising, so that means I have a really bad temper. Uh, yeah. Y'all need to get over yourselves, you know? You're never gonna be a Leo. We just have that natural aura about us. Now, Aries have that too. You do. But uh, I think y'all a little too conceited. And too arrogant, you know? Tone it down a little bit. Um, the world does not revolve around you. Rams. Doesn't. Leave that to the Leos. The kings and queens of the jungle. I feel like Aries, um, women, y'all do, for the most part, come across calm, um, chill. Now, I feel like, uh, it obviously depends on your other placements, but I feel like Aries moons and Aries risings um, are a lot more hot-headed compared to uh, anybody with an Aries sun. I don't know why. This is just my experience, you know, just something I notice about uh, people that have an Aries rising... Um, Aries moons, they tend to be a lot more, uh, quick tempered, um, more hot headed and they get angered very easily. Now that's an Aries in general, don't get me wrong, but I just feel like I've come across, um, Aries, for example, that like an Aries sun uh, for the women, they just come across um, a lot calmer, and it takes a lot more to get them to that point, where um, someone with an Aries moon, and Aries rising, it's like, every little thing pisses y'all off, every little thing gets to y'all, somebody could breathe funny next to y'all, y'all just, you know, ready to crush someone's skull. You know, like I said, I have an Aries rising, and I've I I get like that. It's it's kind of embarrassing, honestly. I think y'all should definitely uh, get some anger management, for sure. Um, I have never been in a relationship with an Aries. I dated one Aries, short term. Um, I don't know. She she seems sweet. Um, but she had a Pisces stellium, so I honestly didn't think she acted anything like an Aries, um, because the rest of her chart was all Pisces, so she was pretty boring, honestly. Um, but she was very nice, and, uh, she was very submissive. Um, to be honest with you, I've come across other signs that had a worse, worse temper than that Aries that I dated, you know, like cancers, um, cancer women I've dated, um, are, were extremely hot headed. Um, I've just gotten that vibe from even, uh, I dated a Libra who had an Aries moon who was always screaming at me if I didn't answer the phone. Um, so she was extremely jealous and possessive and she was a Libra but she had an Aries moon and she would get angry very very quickly um and she was very argumentative but the Aries that I met that had the Pisces stellium she was just very calm and just do docile just nice very sweet when we when we stopped dating she didn't you know what I mean talk shit about me to anybody 
like I've, when I dated a Libra and a Cancer, they, you know what I mean, would post things about me, make it up lies about me and rumors because they were so pissed that I broke up with them. But the Aries was just like, eh, whatever. You know what I mean? And that's one thing I liked about about her is that she didn't really, you know what I mean? She wasn't petty about the, you know, when we stopped talking. She was just like, oh, okay, it's cool. You know what I mean? So, like I said, uh, I feel like Aries women don't really fall in love easily. Um, now maybe I could say for a Leo and an Aries, it'd be great in a bedroom. Um, and I think that will click, but I also think we could bump heads. You know what I mean? But I feel like I get along with Aries women a lot better than Sagittarius women, you know? And I, I, I like Sagittarius as well, but I just click with. Aries women more, if anything, the Aries women I've come across were a lot more su sweet and submissive, where the Sagittarius women, it's like they try to overpower us Leos, and that's not going to happen, you know what I mean? Speaking to the Sagittarius, just get over it. You're not going to overpower Leo. Just don't even waste your time. So yeah, that's my opinion on Aries. Um, you're cool, like I said. Never really been in a relationship with one, but I dated one. And like I said, she was sweet. And every Aries woman I've come across, they're just very sweet. Um, and you know what I mean? They just seem like real cool friends. But like I said, the Aries I know, like co-workers that are Aries or Aries I've come across, um, they just seem like they take a while to fall in love. But when they do fall in love... It could take them like 20 years to, to let go. You know what I mean? A lot of y'all going to deny that. But I'm talking about an Aries that actually is in love. But I think it depends. If an Aries is with you for a long time, then it is going to be hard for them to let go. If it's, an, if it's an Aries that has just dated you for a short period of time, then they'll move on pretty quick. You know what I mean? Like they could get in a new relationship the next day. Or even stay friends with you. And it's all good. So um, I just think y'all a little bit too overly cocky and overly conceited. And you know what I mean? Y'all um, are always trying to be. Y'all are very competitive. And y'all think, you know what I mean? You're just better than everybody else. And that's not true. Leo's are the best. We're number one. <laughs> we hold that title. So, yeah, that's my opinion on Aries. Uh, how do y'all feel about Leos? Have y'all Aries ever dated a Leo before? Been in a relationship with a Leo? Uh, um, it's different having a Leo friend and having a Leo partner. It's very different. So, don't compare the two. Unless you've actually been in a relationship with a Leo. Um, yeah, we are assholes. We are. A Leo, especially Leo Ben. You know, I know I'm an asshole, but... Um, I'm also very sarcastic and mysterious. I don't know. That's what people say. But this ain't about me, though. Like I said, it's about Aries. And um, y'all are cool for the most part. Y'all just need to work on your temper and stop acting like big old crybabies. That's how I describe y'all. Crybabies. Um, adult crybabies, y'all. Act like you're so hard because you're a fire sign, but nah, y'all are the crybabies of the of the fire signs. Um, I would put in there Aries number one, uh, most sensitive compared to Sagittarius and Leos. I would put Sagittarius number two, Leo number three. Um, as far as who's the most sensitive, definitely, definitely Aries. If y'all don't get your way, you literally throw a tantrum. It is not that serious. Do you need a bottle? Do I have to get you a nice warm bottle of milk and tuck you in? <laughs> yeah, but uh, comment your thoughts in the comment section of what you think about my opinion on Aries. If it's accurate or not, or just how do y'all feel about Leos? So, yeah.